Stevenson Sylvester joins us. Utah, former Utah star and Utah uh, uh, radio analyst as well, joins us on 365 Sports. Stevenson, hey, man, how you been? Good to see you. Uh, what were your thoughts about Cam rising for the first time in a while? Oh, man, it was absolutely awesome to see it. Um, it actually puts things back into perspective for you. You don't realize how much you need a quarterback until you have your quarterback. And so um, Cam Rising being back, literally, for me, it felt like five touchdowns in just a quarter. Uh, it was great. I know it was an FCS opponent. But just to see the rhythm and the, and the chemistry that he has with his receivers already is awesome. I know a big highlight in that game was uh, him tying his teammate's shoes. I've seen it on, like, three different occasions. It's a small thing, but a big thing as far as, you know, uh, having your teammates buy into you and, and, and you know, having that trust and uh, his teammates vibing. And I just think that it's going to pose as great things in the future. Uh, Brent Keithy back too. And that, that was one, I think that, you know, when Cam Rising's out and Brent Keithy's also out, you maybe forget a little bit about, you know, this tight end that's one of the best in the country. Right. Uh, and look, he, he played, you know, a big role in the game and uh, he looked good as well. So, uh, it's not only just getting him back, it's getting the best and most talented pass catcher they had back too. Yeah, it was actually very interesting because, you know, it's like you have so many weapons across the board, from Muddy Parks to Dorian Singer to Caleb Lohner, who's a new basketball ad. You guys know him well on the basketball mm -hmm. side. Um, to Landon King, who didn't even get a lot of action, so expect a lot from him this week. Um, to to, to uh Tayshawn Lyons, they have so many different weapons. It could literally be anybody on any given play. And that's what I love is Cam Rising is a quarterback that can spread the ball around. But, you know, uh, that whole first quarter, he didn't hear nothing from Brad Keeney. And then an explosion in that second quarter. So it was like you have so many things so to worry about is what makes this defense or makes this offense so dangerous to game plan for. It's like, who do you pay attention to? Because literally they told me this in, in – in the post game interviews, it could be anybody's day, you know. And, and even in the in the post game, um, you know, uh, message from Coach Whittingham, he's like, "You guys don't worry about. I didn't get my looks. I didn't get my receptions. That is not what we're doing here. What we're doing here is about the team. So it could be you next week, just because it wasn't you this week. And so that message is is radiating through the locker room. And these guys are a real team. It's a, a real joy to see." Staying on that that topic of a playmaker, Stevenson, uh, Dijon Stanley, the young running back. I mean, just a sophomore, had two huge touchdown receptions, but just a big game overall receiving. Not not as much running, but receiving, which was which is interesting. I know he's a young young guy who's just kind of getting his feet wet. But just what were your impressions of his explosive ability and, and that dynamic that the dynamic that that adds as well? It brought me back to being a freshman in high school. Right. And I'm um, going against the varsity and there's this guy, his name was Mike Barnes. He was fast. Right. Mm -hmm. And as he's running by all of us, he's just like, you can't coach speed. And that's what it reminded me of. And, and his speed is just dynamic. It doesn't matter the opponent that speed is going to show. And, and, um, and I think that's an extreme uh, talent of his. And, and for me, it just goes to Andy Ludwig, our offensive coordinator. How are you going to utilize all of these assets? Right. We haven't even talked about Makai Bernard. Makai Bernard is that hybrid receiver, athlete, running back. He can play anything. And so he just he just makes our offense so versatile. But guys like Dijon Stanley, you're going to hear new names every single week of who's contributing on this offense alongside Cam Rising. Of course, you're going to have your staples and, and Brent Keithy. Um, and, and Landon King and, and Dorian Singer, but you're going to have these other guys step up that you'll never see, that you never heard of before. Hey, Caleb Lohner is a great story, obviously. Yeah. Came yeah. to Baylor from BYU. Now he's a tight end. Baylor had a history of basketball players who ended up playing football uh, from Ish Wainwright to others. And so here you have with what he's doing, but at Utah now playing Baylor, and he caught a touchdown in the opening game. Stevenson, your thoughts? It looks like he kind of fits right in well first off they wanted him to have a touchdown right because one of the first oh, yeah. <laughs> things one of the first thing coach Whittingham said in the game or in the post uh the post game uh message was hey caleb does it feel better to get a dunk or a touchdown mm. he shouted out a touchdown definitely um he's loving football he, you know as a basketball player he was all already extremely physical so him 
uh, fitting in is awesome. Uh, watching him at practice in training camp this fall uh, was a joy because it, 